Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Avernos. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use the OpenAI API so that you can incorporate ChatGPT into your iOS applications. If you want to implement a chatbot into your application or use this to add intelligence to your app, this is a must-see video. So I'm not going to talk too much in the intro, let's dive right in. The first thing we need to do is import the package that allows us to communicate with the OpenAI backend so that we can incorporate ChatGPT into our application. To do this, we will be using a package. We first need to install this package, which we will do via the Swift Package Manager. So once you're in Xcode, go to File and click Add Package Dependencies. And then you paste in the link or the package URL that we'll be using and click Enter. This URL will be included in the description of this video, so you can pull it from there if you don't know where to get it, and then click Add Package. And then once this comes up, one important thing that I forgot to mention in the original recording of this is for Add to Target, make sure you have your app selected and then click Add Package. The next thing we need to do is go to openai.com slash API dash keys and generate the API key that we're going to use to make our API calls. So once you get to this web page, just click Create New Secret Key and then you can go through the process of actually generating your API key. I won't show this on camera because I don't want to expose my secret, but just go through and follow the prompts. I've created a new file, or just a regular Swift file in my app and called it chat.code.swift. You can do this if you want, or you can just add all of this in your content view. It doesn't really matter. I just like to keep my code formatted in a different file so it's a little nicer to deal with. So we need to do some import statements. We don't need foundation, but we do need to import Swift UI. And we also need to import OpenAI Swift. I'm going to paste some code here to avoid having to type it all out on camera, but we can go ahead and talk through what's going on here. We're creating a class that, that is called chatbot that will confirm to observable object. We have our initialization method here, but we don't really need to do anything here. And then we have our client, which is an OpenAI Swift object. We have our setup function, which is where we put our API key and use that to set up our client. And then we have our send function, which allows us to send queries to ChatGPT and get back a response. If our response is successful, then we can process that output. And if it's a failure, we'll just print that localized description of whatever caused the issue. Now let's set up our user interface where we can send ChatGPT messages and also read the messages that we get back in response. So we're going to go back to our content view or you'll stay in the same file if you did everything else in your content view. And we're going to delete everything inside of this content view. One easy way to see everything that's in there is to double click the open and curly bracket and it will highlight everything that's a part of this. So everything from before this var to after that parenthesis, we'll just delete that. I already have my code typed and once again don't want to go through the hassle of having to type all of this on camera so I'll paste it and then I'll walk you through everything that's going on in here. So first we have these three variables at the top. We have our chatbot object which is an instance of that chatbot class that we just created. We have text which is what we're going to send to ChatGPT and then messages which will be an array where every time we send a message it will get appended to this array and every time we receive a message it will also get appended and we'll use this in our user interface just so we can have a visual way of seeing who said what and what the responses were. So now actually inside of our view we're going to have a v stack and we'll have a for each. This is when we go through our messages and we'll display them via text. We have a spacer just for formatting and then we have an h stack with a text field that says ask anything. This is where we'll act actually be asking ChatGPT questions and then the send button which calls our send function. We'll also run our setup of our chatbot object here. We have this send function. This is the send function that will actually send messages to ChatGPT. It will also take those messages and append them to our messages array so that we can have that history of the conversation. If you recall in our chatbot class we have another send function there and that's actually what we're calling here. This is just a sample conversation for what this app could look like. Remember, if this doesn't work in your simulator, make sure you test it on a real device, but you would say something like hello, and then ChatGPT can respond, and this is how this app functions. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because we're gonna have a lot of great content coming to you about iOS development using Swift and Swift UI. We'll be talking about the latest trends in Swift UI and other programming languages. 
and just make sure you leave a comment letting us know what kind of video do you want to see on this channel because I do read the comments and I take them to heart. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.